Okay, hold it, both of you. Go, go out there. Go someplace else. I got, I got work to do. She can go. Sonny is missing, and we need to find him. I, I haven't heard from Sonny since he left. That was days ago. The last time he went away, someone planted a bomb in his car, Jason. Something happened to him. We would have heard about it. Oh yes, probably someone sending a bloody piece of clothing in the mail, or some other form of barbaric evidence. That's funny. This kind of talk makes you squeamish. One more reason you should go back to your ivory penthouse and leave Sonny alone. Did Max or Milo drive him? He went alone. Everything that's going on, that is stupid. Hey, what, you picked up a driver in the city? A driver in the city? With Trevor Lansing and his cars trying to come after him, why did he not take more protection? Carly, he came to see me. Hey, I understand you're having trouble sleeping. Oh, God, yeah, I'm having really, really bad dreams. Vivid dreams, almost like I'm afraid to go to sleep. Do you remember what happened in the dreams? Yeah, it's the fire. And there's all this spunk, and I can't breathe, and I can't get to Jake, or I can hear him crying, and I can't find him. And you miss him. Oh, yeah. Lane, I feel so guilty. I mean, this whole thing was my fault. Karen was playing with matches. That's how the fire started. And then I chased him out the door and it walked behind us. It's done. And the good news is you'll make sure that it never happens again. I just miss my kids and I want to go home. And you will. But in the meantime, you need to focus on something else. Good advice. That's exactly what I told her. Ooh. I wouldn't mind spending some time with that. Can I help you? I certainly hope so. I'm Dr. Devlin. I'm joining the staff here at General Hospital. Oh, um, that's weird. I didn't get a memo or notice or anything. I don't... Actually, I'm a few days early. I just thought I'd slip in, see the facility on an ordinary day of the week. I'm afraid we don't get many ordinary days around here, actually. Um, do you want me to call Dr. Ford? I'll tell you the truth. I'd really rather be shown around by someone who's more in the trenches, shall we say? I don't think that's going to be a problem. All right, look. I was at the station when these results were delivered from the lab. Pretty much figured that they'd do a random DNA screen on the chance that Johnny Zaccaro wasn't a match. But of course, I knew he wouldn't be. You know, George has been doing some digging on you. She brought up this phony story about how you brought up the thing that happened in Iraq. Private Vandenberg. That's it. The one and only Private Julie. Georgie found out that she was strangled where you were stationed. Where we were stationed. Yeah, well, Coop, I didn't bring up that. Yeah, what did you say? Nothing. Didn't have to. Lulu was there. She changed the subject. Yeah, you didn't change it back. Oh, no, I didn't. Kind of funny that you haven't asked me. Ask you what, Coop? If I'm the one that killed Georgie. Johnny, please. We need to go. Maybe I can hide you at, at the Quarter Maid Boathouse and we'll even look for you there. Do you think I'm the killer? Why would you ask such a ridiculous question like that? Why aren't you answering it? Do you think I killed Georgie or Emily? You think I attacked Carly and Maxie? No, of course not. Have you always been so sure? <sighs> there are a lot of things that I am not sure about when it comes to you. But you've always been sure about Logan, huh? There was a time when you believed in him completely. 110%, right? Well, he cheated on me with Maxie. So how can you be so sure about me? Because I know you. You don't know me at all. <laughs> 